Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to open a new AWS account to start working on our project. To open a new AWS account, open Google. Once you've opened Google, this is the link to sign up for a new AWS account. So I'm going to paste that link here and I'm going to press enter. And it is going to bring you to this sign up page. Enter your information here. First, you have to enter your email and the password for your account then you can give your account a name i'm going to enter my email address once you've entered your email enter your password then confirm your password once you have confirmed your password the next thing we are going to do is enter our aws account name you can give it any name you want Once you have entered your account name, click continue. Once you click continue, it is asking you to verify that you are a real person. And to confirm that you are a real person, you have to enter the letters and numbers you see down here in this box. So I'm going to enter the letters and numbers the way I see it. Once you enter the letters and numbers, click continue. Once you click continue, it is going to bring you to this page. And on this page, you are going to enter your contact information here. The first question is how do you plan to use your AWS account? We are using it for personal projects, so I'll select personal. Then here, we are going to enter our information. Once you have entered your name, phone number and address, check this box that says you've read the terms and agreement, then click continue. On this page, you are going to enter your billing information by entering your credit or debit card number here. Don't worry about entering your card information here. AWS is not going to charge you because as you know, AWS services is pay as you go. But what AWS is going to do is they will store your card information on their file. Then when you start using services that cost money, they are going to charge your card. But for now, don't worry about it. Most of the things we'll be doing for our projects is going to be free. So enter your credit card information here. Once you've entered your credit card information and billing address, click verify and continue. On this page, AWS wants you to confirm your identity. And there are several ways you can do that. AWS will send you a text message and you will use that code that is sent to you to verify your identity or AWS can call you. So what we are going to do is I'll choose the text messages and I will enter my phone number down here. Once you've entered your phone number, we are going to type these letters and numbers the way we see it in this box down here. Then click send SMS. So what you are going to do now is check your cell phone. AWS should send you a text message with the code on it. You are going to type the code in here. I just received the text message from AWS and the code they sent to me is 8422. I'm going to type the code in there and click continue. And it should bring you to this page. On this page, you are going to select your support plan. So make sure you select the basic support because that is the free account. Then come down and click complete sign up. And there you go. We have signed up for our new AWS account. The next thing you are going to do is click go to the AWS management console. And it is going to bring you to the AWS management console. On this page, we are going to sign in using our root user email. So select sign in using root user email. On this sign in page, Make sure the root user is selected and type the email you use to register for your account in here. Once you type your email, click next. On this security check page, type these letters and numbers the way you see it in here in this box. Once you have typed the letters and numbers, in case if you can't read the letters and numbers, Click refresh here 
and it is going to give you a new set of letters and numbers. So once you've typed it, click submit. And now enter your password. Once you've entered your password, click sign in. And there you go. We have signed in into our new AWS account and you are going to see your account name up here. Please remember that the user we used to sign in into our AWS account is called the root user and the root user has access to everything in your AWS account. For security best practice, you should never use the root user for your day-to-day -day activity. In the next lecture, we are going to create an IAM user that we will use for our day-to-day -day activity in this account. And this is how you create a new AWS account. And remember, we signed in into our new AWS account with our root user's credentials. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture.